up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and we've got another episode of Riff Theory. This one, right off the bat, it's got the Keith Richards tuning, which we call Open G. Um, he actually even clips the thickest string off and just uses the five strings. Um, but we don't have to do that. So I'm just going to show you the Open G tuning. And then what's going on? Because he uses this tuning as his like secret weapon. So we should talk about that. So first, we lower the E string down to D. Then the A string down to G, and that's actually our root for the open G tuning that makes this an open G chord. Then we have D and G, those have, those have stayed. Then B stays as well. And then this high E goes down to D. So I can strum the whole guitar and it gives me an open G. Now the root being though that uh, fifth string there. But that means if just with one finger, this is an A major. B major, C major, D major, E major, F, and G, etc. with just one finger. He clips that thickest string off, so we can just, we're gonna just look at that fifth string down. Okay, now the riff goes like this. And so in most of the Keith Richards riffs, he's thinking of that fifth string as the root. So for instance, uh, uh, he's thinking of that as the root, which gives you a major chord. You know, forget the, the thickest string. And then when you hammer a whole step up on the D string with your ring finger and a half step up with your uh, middle finger on that B string, you get this really beautiful suspended chord that doesn't lay out on your fingers as easily when you're not in this tuning. So that's a G major chord because of the tuning, you know, 12th fret, it's open. So we could call that sus4. But another thing you get is you get a power chord without having to do that shape because of the tuning, these two strings is a five, a fifth, a power chord. So that's G, so that's F. This is C. other thing what's normally a stretch for that Chuck Berry boogie kind of riff you can do you can all the this is for other open tunings as well but this is another thing you can do is any one of just covering the fifth and fourth string which I never call them that all normally what you would have to do with the two finger power chord. So that frees our fingers up. But then also adding that sus four so easily with the middle finger. So that gets us into the mind of Keith Richards' riff making, or a lot of his riffs. And what's going on, though, is something very clever. Who I don't know if it's on purpose or not. Um, with "Start Me Up," 
Um, and that's when he plays that first chord. In most of his, I mean, I think almost all of his other, at least all of his other big riffs, he would be thinking of that as the root. But that's not the root of that chord. He's doing a, like a slash chord or a very clever inversion that could be on accident. Um, and all even theory is, is just being able to just look at something and describe it because you like the sound of it and, to, and be able to you know, catalog it in your brain or to show someone else how to do it. The theory itself is, doesn't, the theory's not needed to make the great riff. It's more about learning from it. So that's the point of that. So check this out. That is not the root of, of the chord. You know, it's on the bass, but let's see. So with the tuning, like I said, that's G, A, B, C. So da, da, da. that bass player is not playing C, E, C, C. He's playing an F. And with this uh, six string tuned down a whole step to D, that would be D, E, F. And this is tuned down as well. So to play an F power chord with this tuning, that's what it looks like. So it's like stop, 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 stop. It's over. There is a second guitar actually playing a, a big, you know, chord like that. Stop me up. So that's the root, but he's playing his normal. I'll explain what's going on there. Uh, that note is the bass. So if I just even use a looper, and by the way, because we're tuned down, that's an F note, not a G. But if I went. So that's just that F note. That's an F power chord. But if I play this triad, which is a C major triad over F. When that's by itself, it doesn't sound anything like start me up, but it's in there. I mean, yeah, I guess it does, but with that bass note. So what you're getting is you're getting getting the fifth, the ninth, the octave again, the major seven. So basically you're getting a, uh, an F, you know, if you're, referring to the F bass note, it's actually an F major nine, I, th I think. Um, I'm sure someone could go and would love to go down and correct me. I mean, you could also call it a C major over F, but you get this. But what's so cool is usually, well, when you add those two fingers, it now is just all the notes of an F major triad. So with the fingers off, it's a real, uh, you know, colorful chord. And then when the fingers come on, it's just boom, F major triad. So I guess you could call it a sus major sus two. I mean, the easiest thing is it's, uh, oops. You know, it's basically C major, F major, over F. You know, it's triads. It's stuff that actually looks real simple on a piano, but on guitar, it's a little different. And then <laughs> when it's in, uh, you know, a funky tuning, it's harder to refer back to the notes. But I think it was all instinctual. It wasn't, the song wasn't written with any theory involved. 
like I said, we're talking about it just so we can see what's going on. Like, we love the riff. Why? What? How? You know? It's a real colorful kind of F that then becomes a real straight F. And then it goes to a four. So literally, like in a blues, start me up, one chord, start me up, one chord, four, 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 four. That main thing is just a one to a four, like that's in a blues, the first two chords of a blues, right? But instead of it just being... So that second chord, which is a B flat, boogie blues thing you play it because of the tuning by covering the third fret a and d and then giving it that whole step up on the d string so that's just a straight four chord of f which is a b flat boogie like in a blues so what you end up with is an f major nine to a regular f or you could call it a, a c over f to f To the four chord, it's four chord, which is a B flat with the Chuck Berry boogie. So that's a real kind of different way that he was using that tuning than some of the other songs. So if I just looked for G, it'd be along the 12th fret. And if I looked for F, we can go a whole step down. And then C, we're going to go to 5th fret. Back to G. Right? So if I just like... I could add the Chuck Berry thing. Also those sus fours. got something from that it was actually fun to break it down it was fun to play it when you go into that tuning you're just like oh i'm in keith richards gear and it's super fun so uh let me know other classic riffs you'd like to see me cover in the comments below and of course i appreciate you subscribing here to the marty music youtube channel appreciate your support and see you again